It's not easy work for anyone. It's cold in the winter, it's hot in the summer, it's very physical. Um, the thing is, it's so satisfying and it's so fulfilling that the commitment starts off strong and it just gets stronger. So you don't mind the work. The work is worth it. We, my wife and I are the caretakers for the ranch, so we're the only people that live on the ranch. Um, so it's a pretty much a 24 hour, seven days a, a week job. Um, I love it because we kind of changed our lifestyle to simplify it. Uh, coming to this place, it's kind of opened up a whole new world for us. And just saving animals and, uh, you know, the, seeing the bad and the good side of people is just incredible what happens. But being able to bring some of these horses back from near death, and uh, it's just a good thing. It makes you feel good. Well, I think this ranch is unique among rescues simply because we don't just warehouse horses. We we start colts under saddle. We retrain horses that come to us spoiled or unrideable. We retrain them, get them where they're under under saddle, simply so we can find an adoptive family that will love and have a useful life remaining for those horses. When Martha came in, she was incredibly lame. We saw instantly that she had a broken bone that had never healed correctly. We were told that um, the owner who surrendered her told the livestock board that she got her foot caught in a cattle guard about three years ago and that was never taken care of properly. So the bone has healed, but it has healed as a broken bone. That caused her foot to turn in and up and hooves grow like fingernails. They're just going to keep growing. We found a veterinary clinic that had very sophisticated equipment and was willing to work with us. And so when we took her down last week, there were all kinds of risks. And honestly, I think I drove everybody crazy until this was done because there were so many ways it could have gone bad. She did great, they did great, our farrier did great, and you've probably seen her out there. She's really doing well. I keep a list. I've got, uh, I've, I've lost eight horses under my watch. And to be able to give something back and to save some horses that otherwise would probably be destined for euthanasia or slaughter. This place gives dignity back to horses. There were a lot of financial difficulties um, and just in general not a lot of volunteers. The best thing they did, they're two hires. Yeah, best thing that ever happened to this ranch. Best thing. Try to live so hard and fast That I wouldn't mind me dying So when I'm gone from here Don't let me hear no cry. Can we do that again? <laughs> and when those days are done, full circle behind me. The pain and love I gave left here to define me. When I we see the worst of people and we see the best of people. Caring. Yeah. Lay me 
Fantastic. Oh, compassion. Magical. If you lay me down at all, that's it. If I die standing, 